Well, we're just back from another grand adventure. Oh boy, what a trip! <laughs> this this time we were off to the Great Western Steam Up in Carson City, Nevada. Oh, what a drive! <laughs> what a drive! Yeah, it's out in the middle of, uh, in this case, of Dry Lake. Well, most of Nevada looks like this. Well, Lake Tahoe doesn't. No, it's different, but I imagine when they settled Las Vegas, they went, what? What? Well, <laughs> and you, what do you want to bet that uh, this area here used to look like Lake Tahoe before the lake dried up and blew away? I imagine. <laughs> and now it looks like this. Yes, there it is. Nevada has a rich railroad history. Well, it's so flat, it would be easy to lay track on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could have laid the whole thing in about a week. Right. So let's check out the steam up. Well, I hope the engine isn't overheating. <laughs> So here we are at the Nevada State Railroad Museum for the Great Western Steam Up. Oh, looky there. I really have been looking forward to this event. They've got, I believe, 10 operating steam locomotives and a whole bunch of other steam locomotives that are non-operational. This is just like the hobby shop, but on full-size scale. Well, you know, there are people who model in one-to-one. -one. Right, but I was just running around from train to train to train. Yeah, me too. Ah. It was just amazing. Now, the Nevada State Railroad Museum is best known for their Virginia and Truckee collection. And uh, not to disappoint, in this particular case, they had two more Virginia and Truckee engines here that were on loan from the California State Railroad Museum. Right. So that was a real incredible collection of Virginia and Truckee engines. Plus two working locomotives from the Carson and Tahoe Narrow Gauge Railroad. How's that neat? Oh, it's amazing. Oh, man. And the Eureka and Palisade Number no. 4, better known as just the Eureka, which operated on the Eureka and Palisade narrow gauge, which was just east of here a little right. bit. Right. But most amazingly, seven 19th century Virginia and Truckee locomotives. Isn't that something? Two of which were operational. Isn't that wild? Oh, I, oh, I think they're so neat. Now this is a very unusual engine. This is Bluestone Mining and Smelting Heisler number one. Wow. Heislers were used, well they're a geared engine so they can, they can pull. Mm. They're not fast, but boy can they pull. They're powerful. And they were usually used in logging, but logging and mining really. Right. this isn't a toy train what makes you think it's not oh <laughs> that's stinking cute it qualifies it definitely that's a little porter locomotive these little saddle tank porters were just all over the place at one time and uh, a bunch of them are now just privately owned and people have them literally as sort of a little toy i wish we had one right in the backyard <laughs> And there were a lot of other steam power plants, I guess you'd say. Right. Not locomotives. This is a steam-powered printing press. I thought that was so cool. Wasn't this fun? Yes. But there were so many just fun and interesting, sort of like when the hit and miss engine people show up. Right. But this is not a hit and miss engine. This is a little stationary steam engine that in this case is running a printing press. Isn't that awesome? And this is a steam winch, which was part of a donkey engine. 
these guys had brought this huge donkey engine, which was used in uh, logging. Right. And it had this removable winch that they could set off to one side. This thing was just fascinating. Right. And this is a steam launch. That's, oh my. This has actually become kind of a fun hobby for people. The, a lot of these are just brand new. You can buy kits for building these, but they're just a little steam powered boat. Oh, fun. And they they have these meets where everybody brings their steam boat. And this is a steam fire truck. Isn't that awesome? From Virginia City. There you go, back <laughs> in the day. Back in the day, that is just beautiful. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> And it gave us a chance to get caught up with a lot of people that I've known forever and ever and ever. All right. Hey, look who's there. <laughs> That's our friend Ed Dickens over there who runs the Union Pacific Steam Program. Right. 844 and the big boy. And this is John. He has TSG Multimedia. We run into him at a lot of the different events. Man, he's got some good videos and whatnot. He does. You got a locomotive coming out of your head right now. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 stop. What do you do to mitigate wind noise with this thing? You know? Unfortunately, nothing. Oh. It's just there. So we're getting you getting us. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. Enjoying the show? Yep. Which, what's your favorite? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> don't know yet. So who are you? I'm Tim Stewart. Tim Stewart. And I live in Paso Robles, California. So you watch the channel? I watch it all the time, me and my wife both. Sweet! So she wouldn't believe that I actually saw you guys because she's not here. She'll believe it now because you'll be on the show. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And this is Dan Markoff with Ed Dickens. Dan's got Eureka and Palisade number four. Isn't that a fun one? Oh, he, he completely restored and rebuilt that in his backyard. I know. Isn't that something? <laughs> Ed at least has a complete shop for rebuilding his locomotives, but Dan has a big garage out in his backyard. This is Earl. I've known Earl just about forever. He used to run on the Cumbers and Toltec. My name is Stan Gentry. I am from Clear Lake, Iowa. Uh, I built the uh, Virginian Truckee Lion replica starting in about 1989. And we wanted to get out and explore some of the area. Right, there's much to see out here. There's a lot to see out here. We wanted to see Genoa. Now, you may notice that this whole area looks a lot like the Ponderosa Ranch from uh, Bonanza, and that's because uh, they shot it right here. Oh, neat! <laughs> We're as good as the University of Utah. Go Utes! So this is the antique store in Genoa. Isn't that neat? It's a great place. Needless to say, Genoa was packed because it was the 4th of July. Uh-huh. And everybody was here having a barbecue. Right. But uh, what a fun, fun time we had here in Genoa. And one of the things we definitely wanted to see here in Genoa is the saloon. Right. Because you build a model of it. I modeled that for your railroad. It's up on the logging railroad. It is. But to see it in person? Uh, there it is. Yes. It's always, you know, uh, you built this from photographs, but then when you see it in person, it's like, wow. It's pretty tiny. It's, it's not very big. The model is really tiny, and it seems like, well, maybe the building is big. No, it's not bigger. It's, <laughs> it's even smaller than I it's, imagined. It's way smaller than I had imagined, but what a fun place. Oh, yes, it was a throwback to the buildings I grew up around. 
And on our way home, we had to stop at the Nevada Northern. Oh, of course. We have always got to swing by there. Yeah, see Dirt the Cat and mm-hmm. just check everything out. And it was kind of between Carson and Salt Lake City. Yeah, so. yeah just stop by. <laughs> so we figured, well, we'll just stop by. And the actual museum there at Carson, the Nevada State Railroad Museum, they have some really great displays and some wonderful artifacts here inside the building. Right. This is their McKean car. That's one of my favorites. I just love that. Well, it's fun to ride. Mm-hmm. And this is maybe one of the most significant artifacts in railroad history. And we're going to do probably an entire show on this car right here because this is just an amazing artifact. Yes. An amazing bit of history. Right. And they've always had these really nice half inch scale models of the Virginian Truckee locomotives. They were displayed in another area and they've built a brand new display for this and oh, this really shows them off. Oh, no kidding. And they really deserve to be shown off because these are just some absolutely beautiful, beautiful models. Right. And so we're going to do a show on these, an upcoming show. Now this is a model of Virginia and Truckee number 11, better known as the Reno. Right. And it's always been one of my favorite engines, and it's been in Tucson, Arizona, just falling apart. Oh my goodness. But the Virginia and Truckee Railroad in Virginia City has acquired it. And there it is. Wow. It's been resurrected, and it's going to be restored now. That is awesome. So this has just been sort of an overview and we're going to be following up for the next few weeks uh, doing shows on all of this. This is just sort of a preview right. of what's upcoming. And uh, probably for the next three or maybe even four shows, we haven't quite figured that out, we'll be covering what went on there at the Great Western Steam Up. Right. Well, as we say, this has just been sort of an overview of what we're going to be putting up for the next few weeks. And uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, you'll really want to subscribe and click on your notification bell so you will be notified when we upload all of these various videos. Right. And the easy way to become a subscriber is with the blue button right there. There it is. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Tuesday. Right. Because we have some Tuesday stuff. Oh, we sure do. (laughs) See you then. Bye. Bye.